Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to update a record based upon your Salesforce survey. There are a few things that you do need to have enabled before we can go ahead and update a record. You need to have surveys enabled, of course, in your Salesforce instance, which is just gonna be go to the quick find in setup and then search for surveys and toggle it on. Two, you do need to have the feedback management license, which is an additional license from Salesforce in order to create the appropriate data mappings that you need for this type of update. And then finally, you do need to have a specific permission. I've got this pulled up. Um, you need to have these Salesforce surveys advanced features assigned to you or to whomever's creating this Salesforce survey in order to use these advanced features. In order to have those advanced features permission set, you'll need to have that license. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our first survey. All right, gonna go to surveys. And then I'm just gonna jump into a survey that I've already started. So that way we don't have to go through a couple of contextual things. So a little bit of background on this survey. This is a customer satisfaction survey. We've got a rate your interaction with our brand, a net promoter score. And if it goes below, I think six, then it'll tell us what the improvements are. But yeah, so essentially what I wanna do is I want to create a data map to update this net promoter score is below, let's say a four, then they were probably pretty dissatisfied. And so I want their lead score or their lead rating to go to low or cold or however it's set up in this org, just so then we know not to work on this lead anymore because, or not work on them unless we are really hungry for leads just because they weren't really satisfied. So let's go ahead and go into survey data mapping and create a new map. I'm gonna have this be update lead rating and have an updated record. We're gonna select lead as the target object. Okay, and so I think this is a little bit backwards. It's gonna have you next to the data mapping and then do the condition but I think it should be switched and I think it was switched at one point, but I'm gonna do this based upon conditions. I want to have this be a response to a question. Rating is let's do less than or equal to a four. Then we're gonna have the lead score go. So condition has been made. Let's go ahead and map this to the rating. And then it is going to be a pick list and then I'm gonna bring it down to gold. All right, now we could add more rows if we wanted to. So let's say we, we grabbed their email or we grabbed some type of information from them that we could then use later on. You know, we could add the description if there was a description here maybe. Let's see, yes, there is a description. So I'm gonna have this be a response to a question. And so I do have a another question on the survey that if it's below a certain score, then please tell us why that you had such a bad experience. So I'm gonna have that be the description as well. So if I guess the conditions are met of a response score of less than four with our company, then we're gonna update the rating of that person's lead to cold and then also update it to have the response of why was your rating so low essentially put in the description field of that lead we could add more rows here to map more to the lead and as to why they are going cold or any updated information and we could also add more conditions so i forgot to mention that we could do all conditions or any conditions are met so just depending on the complexity of your survey that might be useful. You could have multiple conditions and logics to help you determine if this should update or if this should not. All right, I am going to hit save here. All right, and we'll go back to the builder and we do need to go ahead and save it and activate it and then send it out to our leads. Of course, you may wanna grab some more additional lead information and send this out to like a lead list if this was gonna be creating or updating your leads. But that is the quick and somewhat simple how to update your records with a survey. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at emilycallmba. You can check out the courses at salesforceupscale.com and the blog at salesforceemily.com. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.